maximum and minimum completing the squares. Question 14. A rectangular field is to be enclosed by a fence and divided into two rectangular fields by a fence parallel to one side of the field. If 200 meter of fence are available, find the dimensions of the field giving the maximum area. So any word problem, first thing if you can is to draw a sketch. So let's draw a sketch. Rectangular field, easy sketch to make, right? So don't miss this opportunity. So we have a rectangular field like this, which has a fence, which is parallel to one of the sides. So let's say this is the fence parallel to another side, right? And now let's define our variables. So we say let the width of the field be W. In that case, these will be W, right? And let the length be L. So this will be L. I'm not writing the let statement, but you have to write it, okay? Now, so the, our variables are defined, which is width is W and L is length for the fence, right? Now, we are given the perimeter. When we say if 1200 meter of fence are available, that means this length in all is 1200 meters and we know the perimeter. So we say let P the perimeter be what? Perimeter P is, is equals to 3W plus 2L, correct? So it is 3W plus 2L. Now perimeter is already given to us and the value is 1200. So we'll write this as 1200. Now this particular equation helps us to write one variable in terms of another. So that is how this equation helps and let's do that. So we'll write one of the variable in terms of the other. So we can write L for example in terms of W. Then we have twice L equals to 1200 minus 3W or length is equals to, we'll divide both by 2, right? So we have half of 1200 minus 3W, correct? So that is the length for us. Now, we want to maximize the area. It says, find the dimensions of the field giving maximum area. We want to maximize area. So what is area? Area is length into width, right? This length into width, that is the maximum area, right? So area is length into width. So let's write length times width as area. Now we know length in terms of width. Therefore, we can replace this L with this expression half 1200 minus 3W. So we have times W, right? Will be the area half 1200 minus 3W times W. So that becomes area as a function of width. So area in terms of one variable width. Now from here we can expand this. So we'll multiply every term here with half W, right? So if you do half of 1200, you get 600, right? So let's write 600 W and then half of 3 is 3 over 2 with minus sign minus 3 over 2 W times W becomes W square. So that becomes our area. Now it is good practice to always write any polynomial or quadratic equation with highest degree first and then decreasing order. So I'll prefer to write this as minus 3 over 2 W square plus 600 W, correct? So we get our quadratic equation and now to find the maximum area we'll adopt completing the squares method find the vertex now since this is negative we know our parabola is going to go open downwards right like this and therefore we are expecting a maximum here at the vertex by completing the squares we'll get the point of the vertex and that will give us the maximum dimensions correct so let's do that part so first step 
in completing the squares is factor out the leading coefficient right so so we can write a equals to minus 3 over 2 is the term which we need to factor correct which is leading coefficient of this equation w square coefficient right so in the brackets we get w square plus no plus divided by minus gives you minus right so minus and 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 that means first you divide by 3 then you multiply by 2 if you divide by 3 you get what 600 divided by 3 is 200 and when you multiply by 2 you get 400 and that is how we get here 400 w right I would like you to do it carefully right so that you understand this step so what we did was we divided 600 by 3 over 2 because we factored this second check is you can multiply and check do you get 600 w or not minus times minus is plus right so you get plus 3 times 4 is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 so 600 so that's perfect right next step is do half of this which is 200 and square it add that term and subtract that term so we get minus 3 over 2 w square minus 400 w plus Half of this is 200. So 200 square minus 200 square. Add and subtract the same term. It's like adding 0, right? That doesn't make any difference to our equation. But what does it do? It makes the first three terms as a perfect square. It can be written as, you can always write this as W minus 200 whole square do you understand so that was the idea that is why we did half of the center term I mean half of coefficient of W squared it and added and subtracted it and the third term now three terms are involved here the fourth term is minus 200 square so we can square this and write down this 4 and 4 zeros right correct so that is our almost the equation in vertex form. Now we'll open the bracket and write down our equation. So, so when we open the bracket, we get minus 3 over 2 times w minus 200 whole square and now 40,000. 40,000 divided by 2 is 20,000 and times 3 is 60,000, right? And minus times minus is plus. So plus 60,000. Correct? So, so this is the equation in vertex form. Since we have a leading coefficient of minus, it is a parabola which opens downwards and therefore there is a maximum. So maximum area is how much? Maximum area is 60,000, right? Well, we need to find dimensions of the field giving maximum area. Dimensions means width and length. So from this equation, we can say width is 200. So for maximum, width equals to 200, right? And how about, and the units are meters, correct? We write 200 meters. And how about length? Length is 1200 minus 3 times width and half, correct? So we say length. So let me calculate length here now. So length will be equals to half of 1200 minus 3 times width which is 3 times 200 is 600 600 so which is half of 1200 minus 600 1200 minus 600 is 600 and half of that is 300 correct and therefore width is 200 meters and length is 300 meters and that is our answer correct i hope you understand and appreciate it Thank you.